How are you? Hello. <laughs> You've Hello. ruined it. You've ruined my intro. No, you didn't. I've ruined it. <laughs> oh, no. Damn it. I wish I did. How are you doing, mate? Uh, how are you doing? Good yourself. Not too bad for Saturday. Hang on a second. Let me just mm. move from push to talk back to live. And then there we go. Do I have to sit and hold the button down now? That's good. Uh, I'm looking. I don't have audio. Why have I not got audio? I've done an FSG. You can hear me on his stream, probably, but not mine. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you. Oh. You're looking very like Kadirk tonight as well. Can I say that? I was trying to channel my inner e e MRG. Uh, let's try that. Why have all my audio settings gone? Is that better? There we go. I'm getting it. <laughs> what did you do? Come on. Um, oh, no. this, so so when we when we jumped into Discord, Discord had lost my microphone. Um, yeah. OBS had lost my microphone as well. There you go. Yeah. There you go. How are we there doing, folks? Are. Here we are. Nice Welcome to have along. you all here. Welcome to Ashton Corners. Uh, MRG's in the chat. How are you doing? Where's the Kinsey hat? He makes a good They point. don't have one, MRG. They don't have one. I tried. <laughs> I've even got the uh, black rimmed glasses on. How's the singing voice? Oh, well, don't we don't know. We're not too early. Far that too early. early. <laughs> yeah, I'm far too early. I'm still having my morning coffee. <laughs> How's everyone doing for a Saturday? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you've had good days, good weeks, and all that. We got here. I've had a good one. Good. Thanks for asking. Excellent. Mm. Mm. I'm well, tired. I just, uh, just had to watch through the had to watch through the last few minutes of uh, the FA Cup. Final. I was watching the FA Cup final as well. I'm mm. guessing one of your boys is not amused at the moment. Not too happy. No, my brother, my brother will be uh, bouncing around the ceilings because yeah. he's a. He's a Liverpool fan. There we go. And penalties. Hey. No way. So uh, we are we right. are here tonight. Let's 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 uh, give people a little bit of an idea of what we're doing. Um, so MRG, as you can see, is in the chat. So um, very kindly has given a copy of Ashton Corners uh, to myself at Arcs. It's still a work in progress, but it's not a million miles away off now. There's a few little, I think, things that need a little bit of tweaking and, and fettling to make it perfect. But um, tell you what, it's really nice. <laughs> really nice. That is, it? It is, a, is a good looking map. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And there's and, some uh, stuff some I think nice we've never new seen. features. Yeah, it's, I think we've never mm. seen to the extent that that we've seen them on this map. So um, we'll get that. I think we'll probably maybe focus on those tonight, won't we? Yeah, yeah, I think we'll go have a, a bit of a look around the different farms and then uh, see how that takes us and then maybe, I don't know, harvest some maize or something. Indeed, something like that. sounds good. Put some chaff into the campers. Mm. And if anybody's wondering what the red thing is behind us, that is a cracked corn machine. And we'll talk about that in a little while. Mm. So, um, we should we jump right. into the PDA, Args, and let everybody yeah, see go what's, what, what's going on there? Um. Sure there it is. Know. Standard size map. Um, big road running through the middle of it, but a nice mixture of fields, some rather big ones. So it feels like 29 down at the bottom is a rather hefty field, mm. but then you've got some, some strip fields there and some nice small fields like field 26 and 25 there. And 34, tiny little field 34. In fact, is that another, what's that next to 34? That tiny square. Is there a That's tiny cornfield there? Uh Oh, there is in the front of because that's Legacy Eggs Dairy Farm down in that bottom ah, corner. Ah, right, there we go. Um, and there's a there's a little there's a little plot of corn. I think he's he's a corn fanatic, and he's got a garden out the front. Bless. And instead of growing <laughs> vegetables, and he's growing extra corn. Legacy's corn garden, very so, good. Um, Legacy's corn garden, corny Legacy. Yeah. Now, no, I will say that this is um, not going to be available for console before anybody asks because of the features that MRG has included in it, along with a huge list of people who I know he's keen to say thank you to. So Thundar's one of them. Legacy uh, has done a ton of work and some brilliant buildings on it as well. Um, I'm going to have to re revert to my Discord now to remind Louis, you. Louisiana Mapping. Thank Louisiana you, Louisiana Mapping. That's all right. Those are the main three. Yeah. So uh, great work. It's, it's always nice to see modders working together rather than fighting. 
So <laughs> yeah. good, good to see. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I remember when uh, Louisiana released South Louisiana map, MRG uh, said that when he started doing that, he uh, had no idea what he was doing. And now MRG goes to Louisiana for advice. So. That's right. That's right. Great to see. Great to see that it sort of worked both ways there. Um, just while we're talking about the fields, though, a lot of them are bunched together. So you can buy them as a group. Yes. So sort of down in the bottom right corner, that farm we were just talking about has uh, five fields with it, 24, 32, 33, 34, and 41. Um, and then all around, you know, they're all sort of grouped. There's yeah. still some work to do. Don't look at the prices. MRG City is still working on. 2022 uh, grand for, for Legacies. Legacies, are, that's a bargain. It's a, yeah, it's a bargain <laughs> in Wisconsin at the moment. Yeah. Um, but nice. I like the fact that you're, you're in essence, you're buying a farm, aren't you, with land rather than yeah. individual fields. Yeah, absolutely. It's a nice touch. Yeah. Yep. Like that. That's a standard size map, Legion. Louisiana's a mapping genius, very underrated. There you go. Not for much longer, MRG, if he keeps uh, no. churning up, churning out stuff and doing what he's doing. It'd be brilliant. Hmm, that's right. So there's five main farms on the map. So we've just talked about legacies down in the bottom right corner. Right down the very bottom, there's another cattle farm. Yep. Uh, there's yep. the big farm right here in the center. Yep. Up by field number four is a, another cattle farm. And then right up in the top right yep. corner, is the fifth farm up there and then there's three other what i'd call sort of small holdings which are a shed with a silo or something like that yep. um, around as well so there's a few options even on this size map so it's nice actually i with, mean so. it's nice to have so yeah. many farms on on a standard size map that make you feel like you could you could run this as a multiplayer quite a nice multiplayer map you, you could yeah that's right and uh yeah you know, so it sort of has a marksville-esque style like that you know marksville had four yes. or five farms did love marksville so mm. any any reference to Marksville, I'm I'm down. I'm down for that. Indeed. Indeed. There we go. Right, so All right. what should we start with, Ox? What what should we start with that? Well, do you want to go for a drive? Well let, yeah, I've, let's I've go. I've got a couple that. of pickups down at the uh, shop. Alright. Right. Let's tab over to those then. Oh, I don't need that. I think there's a couple of pickups over here. Make sure you Make sure you get to the right one. I'm not sure which one is mine and which one's yours. There's no discernible. <laughs> you're in difference. the X. You're in the X. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the XX rated FSG one. Yeah. Oh yes. There we go. I. Uh, I. How, how do I get XX and how do you get one? Like Argzy number one yeah. and. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. I don't know why. Because <laughs> I made them. I've got to. Yeah, I've got to stop you sorting vehicles out, haven't I? <laughs> I did right. Should we? We're, we're close to Legacy's farm, so we'll go down and have a look at that first. Yeah. So just so uh, you know, is, where Scott, the shop is. is one. There's the shop. Yeah. This is one hundred one hundred percent a real location. Um, a little bit of creative license, but I, when I was taking a look last night, I did some screenshots off Google Earth of some of the farms um, from Street View, and you know, for the limitations of what's available for models and different things like that, um, it is pretty pretty similar, which is very cool. Contrary to popular belief, not like Carmsden, which apparently isn't a real place if you're a certain individual. No, that's right. <laughs> the, the least we say about him, the better. <laughs> yeah. oh, his Look legacy's farm. He doesn't deserve. This is Legacy's farm, yep. So yep. he's done a lot of so these buildings Derry, as well, hasn't he? These. Uh, he has. These buildings are, are Legacy's buildings, aren't they? Yeah, and he's uh, releasing them as placeables. He is. He is. Mm-hmm. I've got a copy of them actually. I'm going to run, through, maybe run through them as a as a little vid at some point. Of course, we've got to open the doors because nice. we're uh, we don't own the land, but um, I can open these doors. Can you? Yep. Maybe it's these ones down here. So there's something interesting yeah. about these as well, though, isn't it? Um, the the actual the cow barn takes sand for bedding, which is a mod that uh, oh, does it. Thundar's created for them. So it adds sand to any map. So if you go to the map, if you go to the, uh, even just the prices, there should be sand in here. Where's the sand? It was there the other day. Ah, uh, maybe I haven't switched that mod on. Did you add the mod Which in? Which mod was that? The, um... I've got the pro seed. I've got the seed one. Seed extension. No, it was. 
Oh, did I miss one? It was... Um... Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it one that you were looking at with his map pack rather than on the map? Um, put his buildings in somewhere? No, it's actually... Um, MRG sent it with the map. Or it could come with a building pack, but I think MRG sent it with the map download as well. Oh, okay. Um, but yes, oh, there is... One, hang on a second. I will tell you... I will tell you. This is an official map tour, by the way. <laughs> we did say we're just literally going to have a nosy around for this. We'll we'll maybe pop videos out as well, because we're, we're just discovering this as, as well at the moment. But um, it is... Let me just scroll back up and find it. Past all the icons. There must be, must be some animations still to do on the doors, because I've just bought Se the... Oh, name. seed extension. Oh, no, that's for the different seed brands. That's for different seed brands. Yeah, that's for different seed brands. Um, there is another one that um, Legacy sent me. With Thunder. So anyway, Thunder's created a mod similar to the seed extension one. That means right. you can you can add sand to uh, the bedding. Yeah. Ah, cool. Ah, oh, beg your pardon. Legacy saying, there Legacy saying there are different versions of the ones he sent me last week. Ah, there we go. Got you. So that'll, that'll explain Maybe. the difference. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, Legacy's farm. Nice big... Uh, this is it. Nice big yard here. Let's hmm. buy some cows. I like these bags. I like these bags. It's the silage bags. Just need to get a bagger in game now. I know, right? Or do bag silage again. Ah, oh, pretty cool. Nice. Nice. Lots just, of space, lots of storage. I'm just nosing around the buildings. Yeah. This one's got a loft in it. Oh. Can't open the doors on some oh, of these. Two story loft. This one just keeps on going up and up and up and up and up. Is that the one with the bales in it? That's quite nice, that one. I wish... It's one thing I hate. Um, the giants? How tall do giants think people are? 2.2 2. 2 metres. Apparently. Like, I know their name's giants, but... Why? <laughs> Getting stuck on doors is frustrating. Yeah, yeah. 2.2 2 metres, apparently. There is there is the mod that fixes yeah. that, isn't there? I'm sure there was. There's a mod that fixes everything. Which is weird. Yeah. Very nice. So that, this farm's quite different, eh? Because it's it's uh, well, it's obviously got the the unique buildings to it. But uh, yeah. I just this one just has a different. Well, in fact, they all have a different feel to them. I was They're looking all, for the trigger. Area. Yeah, I was looking for the trigger to buy some cares. So I think where they yeah, appeared. I think Imagis said did he had he not script some of that thing down ah, here? Ah right. Because um because he's waiting for the final buildings. Ah right. Fair enough. Which might be, <clears throat> might be why some animations are missing off doors. I imagine that's they'll come down here and live in here. Nice open pasture. Or a nice mm. open pen. Yeah. Very nice. Yep. Very nice though, I like it. I like it, and I think it's... Mm. Um, you know, I, I talk about this all the time when I do my map tours and stuff, but like maps that have kind of capture your own, my imagination, have a bit of character about them. Like for me, that's a that's yeah. a big selling point in a map. If you can feel it's got its own kind of identity, that's oh. really really important. And I kind of I've, I've always thought that with with MRG's map, he has that ability to uh, create a bit of a bit of atmosphere in them. Yeah, I agree. It's um, and I think being built on real world locations and having that sort of um, you know, lived in feel, you've got yeah. a lot of data now with Google Earth and Street View and all those kind of things to That's right. pull from real farms and yes, then come up with options. Mm. I think some lovely uh, textures as well, isn't there? Some custom textures in this map that are uh, I think nicer than the original stuff. Yeah. So there's a right. bit of a town hidden in there behind the shop, but uh, it's kind of just just there. I know it's there in real life, but it's there if you want to if you want to play role play and have a have it 
house in town or something like that. Kind of nice. Now I quite like this farm. This is almost my favourite, I think. I like this one too. Particularly when you're down over the other side of the road and out in the actual cattle pasture and looking back at it. Yeah. So just looking up the side of the hill and things like that, it's very cool. So just the one grain bin. Um, you've got it's probably the main the main feature with this one is the uh, caprice going under the road. There's a bridge. Yes. Or a tunnel. There it is. Yeah. And the cattle do go all the way down. Oops. Oh gosh. I just lagged up onto the road. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> Super Arx. Yeah, so this is this is a nice touch. You've got the uh, the yard here. But they do go under the road and into the pasture. All the way down here. And the pasture actually it wraps all the way down to where Legacy's farm is. Yeah, so this is this is cool. Jeez. I can't wait to see this in action. What have you had for dinner? Me sprinting. Yeah, you, you, you've been for a ten mile hike today with the scouts. <laughs> why, are, why are you why are you running so fast now? Still got bundles of energy. Yeah, uh, but it is cool. It is cool, especially when you do have the animals in here and they do make their way the whole way down. Hey, team man, how you done? Oh, we've got cows in the parlour. Like long time no see. Have we got triggers here. I need. We need to buy this, wouldn't we, to set the triggers off? But I wonder if we uh, do that. Let me just buy it and. Yep. I want to. I want to send the cows I down to the to pasture. It. I think. Yeah. There we go. Can I buy that? Five hundred. Five hundred head capacity in all the barns as well. So. Yes, a good sizes. Amount of animals in here. I don't think the triggers are in here either yet. Nah, so the triggers. Way. Yeah, the triggers over by this gate. I must have my triggers turned off. I think. There Hang on. I think that might be my oh, problem. Ah, yeah. uh, no, he doesn't have. There's no indicator for it. Ah, right. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I nice. Five to find it. Right, and what should we do? Um, Let's buy some be. Here you go. I've brought sixty. There's one in the yard. I'll buy a few as well. Buy sixty-one. Oh, I can only buy sixty. <laughs> sixty maximum. Sixty. It was a reason I bought sixty. <laughs> hey, legacy. 61, there you go. Ah. Right. See what, I have, see what I have to put up with. There's, always, there's all this <laughs> one-upsmanship. Every time. That's like they've got a long way to run when you put the feed out, haven't they? They do, yeah. You know the cows that gallop up and down the... Oh, they are. Up down the road, yeah. Look at this, though. That's clever. That's the first time I think we've seen... That's pretty cool. Something as... Uh, as different as that. I like that a lot. There you go. All down here in, in the pasture. Yep. Sitting. I don't know what the relaxing. greenies would say about them being in the waterways, but anyhow. Brilliant. And it's a big pasture as well, mm. isn't it? It's it big is. and yeah, it's, it's odd shaped, place. so it's uh, it just feels feels part of the map, which is nice. Talked about that the other day with the. Uh, with Green Valley as well, but the mm. Mm. the pastures follow the land rather than just being a square box plonked plonked in a field somewhere. Yeah, and that's what I love about them being you know a, a, a farm built in with animals rather than relying yeah. on placeables because you can't do this with placeables in landscaping. No, 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 you can't. And I think there's something then probably one of the most. Uh, you know, maybe Green Valley is similar, but um, there's not many maps where you kind of feel animals are really an integral part of the map. But I think this feels like that, as does uh, as does Green Valley. So mm. nice to see. You know, mm. not everybody necessarily wants to combine maze all the time. So um, yeah, that's right. nice to see. 
And there, yeah, like you said, look Ooh. when you're in the pasture, you look back up the hill towards the farm. It's a yeah, quite yeah. a picturesque it's farm as well. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. nice, it's very nice. Cool. Right, let's, let's go farm and have a look. Two. Have a look around some of the other the other buildings. Oops, wrong track. Why am I sprinting and you you're just oh, that's uh, you, job. Yeah, you you you've logged in as admin, that's why. Ah right, there you go. I haven't yet. Like the right the red no gates milk are yet, nice I'll left, but uh that's where it'll come. The red gates are cool. Yep. Look back there. Oh, nice animations on the uh it's a storage. Nice animations on the on the gates as well. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. You're running bobcats back go. up and forth. Up and down here, getting bales or whatever stored up here. Or other things like that. And most of the farms, in fact, I think all the farms have the harvest doors too, don't they? They do. They do. One that's got a... Or is this a decorative one? But yes, nice I'm just a little tired. <laughs> oh dear! Oh, it's bad. It's bad, Oaks. <laughs> so, do you need to? Is that? Is that, Do we think this is a? Is that decoration or is that? Does it need a blower on it? I think that might be. I'm checking now. No, it's got triggers in you. It's got triggers in everything in front of it. Yeah. Definitely don't think I have my triggers turned. No, I must have my triggers turned on because the crack core machine was there. Why can't I see any triggers? Yeah, there? No, I think I think um, as I've looked around, there might be just some places that haven't got the yeah. symbol on them. Hmm. But um, nice, yes, the the, the blue harvesters are a nice magic. are a nice touch, aren't they? Definitely. They All right, back down to the main farm, or do you want to carry on to one of the other ones and come back to the main farm last? What do you want? Yeah, should we finish on the main farm? Because we can look at the silos and the crack corn okay. and stuff. Oh, goodness. Did you overcook it there? I think I get lag actually in this. Eh? Did you overcook it? Overcook it? Yeah. Did you get a lag Something or like that? <laughs> It's, yeah, it's lag, honestly. <laughs> did you just jump out of your... I did. I thought I was going to beat the horn and press the wrong button. <laughs> Scott George, there are five main ma uh, main farms, I would, we would say, on the map, but then there's, then there's two or three small holdings as well around the map that you can... Uh, that you can start a farm from as well. That's the main farm there, just over to the uh, over to the left. So we'll come back and have a look at that at the end. Yep. Some nice trails and accesses down to farms and things like that too. There's one of the small holdings actually, just here. I've got a yep. I've got a house and a couple of barns. Or three barns there, or garage, small, small grain bin as well. Yep, nicely little, nice little setup. Can't even see it through the trees. So what have we got up this road? There is another farm, and up here on the left is the animal dealer and co-op with uh, some buy points for all your different needs. So we'll Hop in and have a look at that. Should say this is a, an anhydrous ready map as well. Yes. And propane. Um, but I noticed that none of the dryers need propane, so I don't know if that's something that's still still to be done. To be finalised. But this is the yeah, animal dealer and co-op, so uh, there might be a cell point there for milk. We've got a bale cell point, there's fuel, buy your animals, and then or in the other side here you've got your liquid fertilizers, uh, um, herbicides, and hydras down the back there, there's some dry silos. Yeah. Yeah. 
All in one place, Every, nice. Everything. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Everything a farmer could ever need. So there you go, bale cell point as well. Off. So we will say bale cell point. Um, corn stalk bales are on this map as well. So again, another little extra, mm. which is nice to see. Remember how lucrative they were in FS19. I oh, know. And then down here is one of the other main farms, cattle farms. The distinctive big blue harvesters there. I think this one has two animal cattle pens. So one there on the right at the front, and one over over Small. on the back side. Mm. We have lots of sheds. You seem you can. Yeah, you're gonna have to be mindful of what equipment you use, because um, they're not not the widest. Yards. Yeah, you're not getting an 9RX through all of this, are you? You're gonna have to be selective. I think it is a it is a small to medium vehicle farm. Even the, even the probably field sizes are probably medium tractors yeah. at best. I'd say so. But then again, it doesn't matter. You can do what you want if you can get it around the buildings. Okay. You can use it, right? Yeah, absolutely. This is a great shed, this. Really like this. Which one are you looking at? The barn? The, this one, the cow shed. With the fans. Oh, you were behind me. <laughs> always, always in your shadow, mate. Always, always. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nice big cow, nice big cow shed. This goes round to here. Very nice. Water trough here. Yep. Mm. If I start, Again, I the animation I get. Some least, some nice. Buy this one. Big storage shed for vehicles as well. Nice to see. So when you buy this one, it comes with the big field over the road too. Field 14. Yes, look at that. But 14, even then, which is nice, is split in two. So obviously you can play that into mm. one massive field if you want, or you can keep it separated into good. two. And that's the joy of that's the joy of course play in 22, isn't it? That you can chop the field up any way you see fit, and it will uh, just uh, select the borders of the bit you've uh, chopped up. Yeah. Yep. Looks like we've got a missing animation on one of those doors. A miss missing trigger. Here we go, there's the old style barn as well, with the parlour in it. MRG did say he's got some textures that he needs to update as well. This is a good example of one of those that's got uh, uh, temporary textures on the inside there. So he's already acknowledged that there's still work to do on those. Here is the shop. I always like shops when you open the door, there's loads of stuff going on inside it. Stuff yeah. on the shelves and things like that it just feels like it's feels like it's actually a used shed or used shop. Welder at the back there, nice. Bit of roundup ready to be uh, used. Crikey! This has been nice for your environmental school. Yeah. Oh. You know the price of uh, fertilizers and things like that at the moment. So yes, even that, indeed. you uh, need to get in now and store it. Look what seed he's got up here it's as well. It's only going to go up. Certain brand of seed up here, What's which we'll one? talk about in a minute. Yeah, decalb. Roundup ready. That's what that explains the roundup. Right. Let's. Uh... Very cool. Another nice farm. Oops. I think it closed. Oh, oh there's, there's a corn even more seed in this shed. Oh my goodness. Somebody's gone crazy with. It's all nice. for life. Just a garage for the house. Yep. Nice. 
with a deer inside it. <laughs> oh, I wasn't. Well, I didn't have that. <laughs> Randomly spawning deers. Yeah. That's right, you were standing right next to one of the cows before and had no idea. Right. Uh, the classic Sounds when my dead zones are stopped on my uh, wheel again. So there you go, there's the big field. In fact, if I jump out, shall I just jump on flight mode? Hey, Wheezy. So you can see How you doing? Size of the field there. They are big fields. And there's a strip field just along there as well. Oh, I'm getting YouTube beers. It's all going horribly wrong for Args. It is. My internet's really throwing its toys now. See, this is why you shouldn't live in the back. country. Just turn flight mode off again. Right, if we head out and over the road, there's a little small holding, isn't there? Have a quick nosy at that. Uh, back down on the main road, yeah. yeah. Hang it right. We'll go look at the cell points and silos up that way. I'll get there one day. Just be patient. <laughs> hey, Pink Sinatra, how you doing, mate? Great to see you. Sorry if I haven't said hello to you in chat. I'm sure if history's the same. Yep. It's uh, great to have you all here. Yes, thanks for all joining. Appreciate it. And I hope you like the map. It is, um, I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm taking I just thought I'd take a look at some of the field. Just oh, went cross country. There he is. Full tilt. Full send arcs. Oh. Full we'll, we'll send args. Full we'll send, I don't have a choice because my uh, internet's <laughs> deciding where I go rather than me. Alright, let's go up here. I uh, appreciate that. Thanks, thank you very much for the super chat. Very generous, as always. Oh, Banks is in my chat as well. Hello, Banks. There we go. Ah, oh, Banks. Thank you very much, mate. You are a gentleman. Very kind. D Max so on doing? the nice right, I think, is the cell point, isn't it? Is this the co op? I thought this was the cell point for uh, crops, but it's not actually showing up. I think that's the intention. Perhaps he hasn't got that. It's the only place you can sell at the moment is Suck Up Corn Dryer. Which is which one? Oh, the one over the road. So that's the unload point. So the one over the road is a cell point. Ah, oh, right. Highlight it. So that's the cell point. So that... What's this FCA one then? I wonder what that is. Storage, maybe? Could be a second co-op. No. Oh. Crash. Um, does it have any triggers on it? Doesn't appear to yet. No, there's no, no triggers over here at the moment, so... It's either decorative or still to have some there's no way detail this added is, to it. This can't be just decorative, it's too nice. Yeah, I reckon... I reckon there's some... Nice. Uh, I reckon there's some uh, triggers to go in here. Unload in the shed. Load over here. pop across the road as well. I've realised the problem, the handling on these trucks is half the problem. Yeah, it's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my internet's my problem at the moment. Oh, here we go, here's the other... Yes, this is the cell point. Meridian bins. It's got one of the little dryer, dryer shacks too. Can I open the door on that? No, you can. Can you? It's, um, it's quite nice how it steeps down the bank, this one. Oh, we've got a trigger here. Auger on, so you can turn the auger on. 
you know, flip down there. Which means then I think you can unload into there. And that's your unload auger in there. But we'll talk about those a little bit more when we get to the main farm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trigger markers are incorrect, they need to be moved, here. MRG says. That's a nice big shed up there, actually. So this is... This Imagine is he's sitting nice. there cringing, he's like... <laughs> These oh, guys geez. are just finding stuff that's broken all the way through. These two. These two. <laughs> so yeah. why did I ever send my map to these two clowns? Another big shed there, that's why nice. Why did I send my map to these Muppets? <laughs> Oh, even in Scooter. Oh, Scooter's been working with Collins Customs on his um, on his precision farming. That's awesome. Uh, Wilma, this mm, is a I standard saw, actually, size uh, map. Someone sent me a link to that yesterday. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, it's not your first radio. As long as you're as long as you're not getting upset with us, MRG. But it is, I mean, it looks, I love the contouring, you know, just the shape and the rises and the falls of the land. I just, even here, you can just see the that harvest ore peeking up over that little brow there. It's very nicely done. Very nicely done indeed. Oh. You're just standing watching your internet. I can't even run anywhere at the moment. I'll run, I'll run. No, no, I run forward and glitch back. Oh, um, right. Just... We made it across the road yet. Oh, I see you. I'm across the road, but I'll probably end up back on the other side. Alright, we've made it into the track. we be gentle on the throttle. See, tractors are normally okay with a little bit of lag because you're not going very fast. But That's right, these things are uh, brutal. If I go full bore in this, it's uh, going to be a mess. Are you going to hang it right up into this farm on the right here? No worries. That shouldn't listen. Isn't that a nice view, Lord, tonight, looking across and seeing the sheets in the distance? Yeah, it is. It is. Different bits and pieces. I've got my graphics cranked up really high as well, and I have to say, performance wise, it's flying. Doing really well. What are we on? Look at <laughs> that. Absolutely rock solid at 60 FPS. Just flickering yep. at 59, but. I mean, I am literally, I think I'm running my field of view at about six at the moment. Not my field of view, my uh, view distance. So we're uh, nicely optimised. There we go. Well, I'm almost going to make it. I'm going to get there. Here he comes. Trenton's asking where is, where, is the, <laughs> where is Trenton's asking where the map is based. This is based in Wisconsin. There we go. More sheds for storage. It is. Got some nice little calf pens here. Oh, the birds. Did you hear the birds? Yeah, the birds in the shed. I, rem I remember our um, MRG talking about that ages ago. Getting the yeah, in we did it in Lincoln Creek. The in shed bird noise. Originally. Yeah. There we go. I think one of the sheds has a slightly different sound, different bird too. He might he's not a one bird man. He's not. Just keeps them apart and doesn't tell the other one about the other one. That's right. The different farms have different birds. <laughs> Oh, there you go. You can hear him in here. I like it. Different ones? Yeah. Different ones? Yeah. Just little sounds, different sounds. It's very nice. Where even are you? In the... In the, uh, in the low shed. In here. The less enthusiastic in here. If we head down here, if I pop this, 
can head up into the loft as well. And then you can pop this hatch if you want. And if you want, you can get this, uh, it's quite a nice little bale elevator. If you want to use small bales, you can bring them all up here and store them up here. So, nice. Ooh, let's get it up there. There he is. I can. I made it. Uh, Ace Catfishing, where in Wisconsin? This is uh, Ashton cool. Corners. Or Ashton Corner in Wisconsin. Just out of Madison, I believe. It's the nearest sort of city. I don't know how big Madison was, but just from my Google Earth look. Straight out of Madison. I need, I need a t-shirt with that on. Straight out of Madison. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not as... Maybe not as uh, <laughs> Maybe not as dodgy as Compton, but uh, that'd be good. I want that T-shirt. Uh, Get that on your merch, MRG. MRG, yeah. MRG straight out, of, straight out of medicine. All right, which way are we going down here? Past the bins and another shit on the end. Nice house up hidden there in amongst yeah, the trees. Yeah, even that. And this is one of the. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Well, these are these paths you were talking about in between the fields. Takes yeah. us out back. Nope. Oh, I thought I was going to make it without going in the crop. <laughs> Very yeah. nice, though. And it's times like this I realise why well, you've got 50,000 subs and I'm still just catching up. <laughs> creeping up. <laughs> why? Because you're uh, <laughs> my my internet. I don't it's think all about the internet. <laughs> yeah, it's the, only, the only reason, is it? The only reason. Only reason. <laughs> there you go. There's uh, up and comers. Make sure your internet's good. <laughs> well, here we go. All right. View a quick map. Another ref little farm here. Map reference, so you know where you are. We are flat bang middle of the map. Over on the west hand side. West hand side. West side. On this side. This one, like this, looks like a kettle barn, but I don't think it is. Yeah, it's parlour. As in, it's not a. As in, it's yeah, but I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a um, usable one. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah. I may be mistaken. A look. The shed over here. There you go, farmer MD. Ah, uh, see this. Decorative yeah. farm MRG says. So this, this one's. Go on, Ox. Decorative farm. Yeah, I just figured that. It's on the. Uh, it's on the, roading layer for buying it. You can buy all the roads, by the way. I know I did see Scooter asked a question in your chat about whether you could mow the verges. I'm assuming if you can buy the roads, you could mow the verges. Yes, indeed. There we go. There we go. Just Lots a little bit, there. a yeah. little bit of character around, but it's nice. Nice. It just makes the map feel lived in, doesn't it? If there's other, other farms about that are uh, dotted around. It is. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's good. Very good. So from here, All right. we just need to head. Back east to the main farm. You can see some of the fields down here. The big fields are going to be on our right as we do that. Oh. Definitely the steering on these trucks oh. is... Excessive. Oh, Jeremy Freeman, thank you very much for that super chat. Argsy rules. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Appreciate that, my friend. You're going to have to get t shirts with that on as um, well. I think I've just I figured out my issue. Argsy rules. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Um, I've got a ghosty, uh, ghosty FSG in the. 
Ah, right. In the farm back down here. Um, so even though this is a decorative farm, you could still use it for storage and things. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. For sure. We've lost dogs. I figured out. Oh, whether I figured out my issue or not, one of the boys is watching each. One of the boys is watching YouTube on the TV. That might have been my internet issue. Yeah. If you, do they not realise by now that you have to sit and they have to sit in silence? Staring into Ten space silence, while you're on yeah. the, when, when Dad's on the internet. <laughs> well, no. Well, no, I, I, came, I came across a problem. I've got FSG rules. I had to. Uh... Where? In my chat. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Sorry. He's playing, he's playing to catch the crowd. Up. I'm, I'm catching up with everything. Yeah. I'm just sitting in the middle of the road here. Look, 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 look over to your uh, left-hand side. Just with all the buildings and the, yeah, it's nice, the eh? hills, it's nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, very good. I like the <laughs> signs as well. Oh, MRG, if you're still watching. Um, there's uh, Nick Stegman, behave, and Argsy. Well, you're not supposed to put Argsy rules in mind. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Nick. I like that. <laughs> thank you, mate. That's very kind of you. MRG, thank you very much uh, for your £10 super chat. I appreciate the fact that you've just dropped that in there with no message. <laughs> you know I've got your chat open, eh? Yeah. And I'm I can see exactly what MRG said in yours. <laughs> I'm guessing you're getting one the same that says, Hey, Argsy, don't tell FSG, but I like you more than him. Oh. Uh, my one said, hey, Argsy, I like FSG more than you. Ah, right. He still gave me 10 bucks. <laughs> he's, he's consistent, though. <laughs> I like it. Um, so the <laughs> no, seed no, signs, I was going to ask that. MRG I about did, this. I did get the other way All ah, right. I was going to ask um, yeah. MRG about the seed signs. Are you going to put those in the map as placeables? So if you plant a certain uh, type of corn, you can put the, you can put your sign in the ground. To, to remind you which which variety you've put in the put in which the ground. Round? So let's see, we've got the pioneer seed sign here. Oh, Nick, you're a legend, mate. Thank you. I agree, hundred percent agree with that sentiment. That would be good, wouldn't it? I have all three. So it would be, yeah. On, on on that note, we should probably talk about that, shouldn't we? So MRG, yeah, we can. If you've if you've been watching his streams and you've been watching his Facebook page, you'll probably know a little bit about this already. But MRG has, and I think the best way to show it is down in the prices point down here, is you can now plant three different varieties of maize. So Pioneer, DeKalb, and Hefty are your three options. So you have to buy separate different seeds. They're all called seeds at the moment, but they'll have um, the different brand names attached to them in the final map as well. Um, and you can um, you can plant them. Now, I don't know... Mm. Uh, yep, seed signs will be made into placeables. Nice, superb. Another another legacy special there. Thank you, MRG. And there's um, still the main corn and the default corn too, and default corn as well. So you can choose. Basically, in essence, you've got four four choices now. Um, MRG, you're going to have to kind of clarify this in chat. Um, are there, is there going to be different uh, yields, or is there uh, is there any difference in the three? Args and I were talking about it before we came on stream. For maize. Yeah. yeah. The silage. You know, does one make more chaff and the other's better for seed or what's the benefits? Sell it to us. Scooter's pushing his uh, pioneer nice signs sign. that add money. I like the sign. Yeah, that's a legacy sign. It's even got a little uh, tin rust like oxidized metal back to it it's quite clever yeah yeah it is nice so um, the seeds will have you know, different price few... and yield values nice ah, cool i like it does that mean a higher a higher yielding seed might be worth less than a lower yielding or is it the other way around so, so we'll have benefits double, to double like first oh so like fertilizer layers so i'm gonna say decalb when it says it's roundup ready you might get a you might get a, a, a 
one less fertiliser application because it's already impregnated with fertiliser. I like that. Rounder. Do you want to listen Roundup? Do I need to tell you how Roundup works? It's a spray, isn't it? A liquid spray. It's a, it's a glyph glyphosate, so it's a herbicide. Oh, is it? Kills kills weeds. Oh, it's right, not going to fertilise anything. No, fair enough. <laughs> With seed extension <laughs> I, courtesy I of Thundar, you can switch you seed types. I know what you mean. Right. With seed extension courtesy of Thundar, you can switch. You can't switch seeds. You cannot switch seed types in your planter. You have to fill it can with the correct not. seed. Very nice. So, so actually, that's yeah. where that's where the pro seed box that uh, Legacy's getting tested on Mod Hub will come in, won't it? Because at the moment you can't buy different seeds, you imagine. There's nothing in the shop for different seed options. Or is that going to be well, added? Not that I could find it anyhow. Hmm. Stop reading the chat, FSG. So, while we're sorting that out, this is the what I'd call the main farm. It has, what does it have? It has two dairy parlours and yep. two pig farms, or pig sheds. Um, yep. Would be the sort of main features for them. Lots of storage. Yeah, I am a big fan of this. Shed over the road as well. Cause I'm I a think. big fan of being able to I tip think. your silage off the back of here to fill the back up first. Off the top, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so this comes nice with lots of land too. That's big fields over the road. Yeah, yeah. Emoji's saying he's got to add different seed options to the shop. This, the... oh yeah, twenty four seven. <laughs> so why are you saying you're a big fan of this? This is actually what is there in real life as well. Yeah, Emoji hasn't done this to make it easier. This is how these guys on this farm fill these olive pits yeah i mean i've seen it i've seen it so many times in in sunken in bunkers where they have a concrete back on them so you can mm. tip directly in but it's something i've just not seen a lot in game actually when people have sunken bunkers it's because there's something behind yeah, it or something right. like that so I, it's just nice to see it mm. dump, dump from the back and then when it's half mm. full you, you start loading from yeah. the front it's brilliant yeah but again, though, you're going to have to be mindful of what equipment you use because you don't have a huge amount of manoeuvring space here, do you? You do not. No. No. So it is... It Back is between, the, between where you are on the ledge there and over here. Yeah. Tobot Fish, thank you like. for dropping in. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. And Monkey White as well. Appreciate you dropping in. Hello, everyone. Ace Catfishing is saying, Map looks great. When does it come out? <laughs> The golden question. Oh, depends how many more things the FSG and I try and break. <laughs> yeah, I think mrg has got a week off work and he's going to be spending a bit of time on it. Um, but it'll come out when it's 100% ready and complete. Yeah. We don't want to rush this because it's, it's, it's got the potential to be really, really, really brilliant. Indeed. So this is a slightly different style farm. Yeah, we saw the one over what we looked at first or second, sorry, which, you know, the cow pasture was massive and they went a long way. Um, these ones are more little barns. Like this one here, they just live in the barn. And then the other one over here, we do have a little bit more outside space. Uh, this one must actually... Oh, no, that's, yeah. Then this one over here, they sort of can roam around a little bit more. More outdoor space. And then right down the very front... Over here, this is one of the pigs. Pig pastures in here, pig barns. Where did you go? Pig stalls. I'm right down by the road. Right down the bottom. Oh, it's I funny see. not having names turned on, eh? It is. <laughs> it's all good until somebody yeah. gets lost. So you're running through. Yeah. Yeah, so you're in the cattle pasture. Yeah. Hey, Polly. We count Taz, welcome back. You like how different the farms look? Yeah, they're all very unique, eh, Scott? I, I like that too. Yeah, yes. 
Ah, uh, probably boats jumped in here. We go. Now, should we talk about you? Talk, you've done a little bit more work on the harvest stores than I have. Yeah, well, not so much the harvest stores, but the um, or the the team armix. Yeah. So there's two two things MRG's added. So you've got your TMR. Um, so normally TMR is what silage, silage, hay, hay um, some straw, straw and if you want. obviously the mineral, yeah, mineral feed as well, wasn't it? You can add into it now, yeah. which was part of part of twenty two. So this little contraption here is a uh, cracked corn roller mill. Um, so you can put your corn and just ignore what the recipe is because uh, it will be one or the other. It's not going to be all of them. Um, but you put your put your corn in, and it'll roll it through, and it'll come out as cracked corn. So yeah. uh, you'll need an auger. So you put an auger in, dump in the top, and then you'll need an auger at the bottom, and it comes in here. In the bunkers, it's coverable. So when you have the cracked corn in here, you can actually put a blanket over it, a solidish blanket over it, so it's covered and protected from the weather. And then you can use that in your TMR. So um, the best way to do it would have been... By a TMR mixer because you'd see the mixing ratio on that, but I think it's sort of you know zero to ten percent cracked corn in there, so it's still predominantly your silage and hay to make your yeah. TMR. It's, but it's almost like it's almost like in, a so. replacement to the min mineral, isn't it? It's that kind of it's just yeah. a, you need a small dose of it. Yeah, yeah. and so this was uh, I think a video Sony Farms did on YouTube, which MRG got the idea from. You know, something yeah. they actually do in real life. Um, That's right. So he's integrated that, and then. The, Second part over here, this little uh, this little silo or tank is a molasses tank. So in the same way that you've added the cracked corn as a component to your TMR, you can actually add molasses in here uh, out of this tank and just drive it under and fill, and uh, that can become part of your TMR mix as well. So again, zero to ten percent, I think, is the kind of idea and recommended Here's ratio a question or the mixing ratio. So it'll show up. I was going to say, as a question oh, for MRG, do we get a do we get a, a boost in uh, milk yield for this, or is it just a are we just a real is it just a gameplay uh, addition? Good question. Oh. but it's yeah, I like I like it. I like the immersion side, of it. even if it doesn't do anything. The immersion side of it is nice. Yeah, and I was going, I was actually going back through MRG's Facebook page. With some of the posts he's shared on different features like this and, and reading some of the comments people would had because he asked for asked for real life you know examples and, and a lot of people you know TMR or feed mixes do include a lot of different things like molasses and cracked corn and all those kind of things so there you go it's a gameplay edition trying to make the dairy mixture a little more complex nice like it so, will you be so able you don't to have feed? to you just want to make silage and hay yeah, absolutely. If you yeah, if you just want to put silage and hay and nothing else in it, you can still do it that way. Uh, but it's just a, it's a it's a nice mm. gameplay uh, mechanic, isn't it? Vaccinations that it affect is. milk production yeah, as well. Yeah, it's very nice. Wow. Like it. Like it, MRG. That would Nicely be good. done. So you're you're into the kind of realms of same as a same as a crop. You can plant it and leave it, and it can have weeds in it, and it. Not not have all the fertilization in it, and uh, you won't get as much out of it. Or you can uh, add the extras in and uh, increase your yield. Nice, like it. Hmm. Oh, Trailer Park uh, and Farms is watching yeah. and and uh, seeding at the same time. Yeah, very nice. One of the fortunate people who can get into the fields. I know. I haven't talked about it, but how crazy was uh, what's happened in Minnesota? I oh, know, yeah. Obviously, millennial farmers, where you, you've seen it all, but um, I was actually watching a video because I know Larson Farms, and obviously, everyone in between is going to be have been affected in some way. Yeah. But um, Big Swede on Larson's farm was actually videoing at the moment the roof blew off one of their sheds and just oh, really? rolled through. It's an incredible video. If you've never seen anything like it, just the speed this wind came through and just blew this roof off. Just oh, flew. I have to say. Well, uh, did, uh, I watched, on, did you watch the Instagram? You watched the live stream that Millennial Farmer did last night. Um, I did. But, and, I tried uh, to. <laughs> and it was almost <laughs> as painful as one of our live streams. <laughs> um, th Thirty minutes is the only the only notice they got. Um, and it was one hundred and ten mile an hour winds, yeah, and it just yeah. appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. Scary stuff. Yeah. Eh? 
Oh, I must say the irony and they said about the fact that the, the tractors they put in or the equipment they put in the shed was more damaged because they were worried about hail and ended up being worse off than stuff that was out I in know, the right. fields. That the last aerial, video, that aerial last video the... they were talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah their, the their last the video they bubble. were talking about taking Yeah, they were talking about taking tractors down into the fields and leaving them there and then they decided to keep them at the farm. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was quite ironic. It's odd slow, isn't it? A decision you make it two or three days previous, how it might have an impact on. Exactly, things. exactly. Right, over the road. What have we got over the road? We have got... So what else is here? There's, uh, yeah. A few more sheds. Nice little bits of storage. Little diesel point. Yeah, nice diesel point, yeah. Nice big, uh, Ooh. big storage shed. More birds in here. More birds, very nice. What's this? This is interesting. Yeah, it's like a corn, like a corn crop. Corn top store. Thing. Yeah. Hmm. That's that big shed again. I'm going all the way back there. Use it for feed. Corn yeah, storage. It keeps it dry, doesn't it? They eat it yeah, because it's aerated. That's right. And then the harvest stores actually. The other thing I was going to say about yes. harvest stores, there's two different ones. I think one's, desi one's designed to take, um, not that one there. Which one is that one? That's the, it's there. They both take chaff though, but I thought one was, like the idea was you'd put, say, corn. Yeah, you got the choice solid, of corn solids one, one and the other big grass solids, so you could keep them separate. So again, you need the little. I mean, the end of the day, when you've made silage with corn, it becomes chaff. Yeah, yeah. But you're a little New Holland blowers there that we've used on other maps would sit under these, mm. with these pipes. Do you actually need the blowers in MG, or are they just a? a What's that trigger? Easy. <laughs> uh, it. Emoji said That's a good point, Emoji made. I was going to say before too, I think we're going to see some custom. Oh, is he? We're going to get some custom FSG icons, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I could show oh, them, mate. actually. You've put together a few little things show for them. them. Let me yeah, see if I can find them. Yeah. I right. think you should. Which screen am I on? I'm not liking my new layout. I have to turn my head too much. Um, let me see. Oh, I was intrigued with that, and actually, I wondered how you were dealing with chat. But then I saw you had a uh, tablet that that took care of that for you. Yeah. Um, it's not as it's not as comfortable. I'm going to have to have a shuffle around again. I think. Brilliant when you try stuff and then yeah. it doesn't it doesn't quite work. But there you go. If you don't try it, you'd never know, right? Let me switch to my. Yeah. Ask about a town. There is. There's a little bit of a town here, too, man. Um, oh. yeah, I'm opening in focus. So just for bearings, that's uh, that's Legacy's dairy farm over there. That was the second farm we went and looked at. We drove, oh, there's the, the store, the shop. We drove along the road here, headed up this road. That was the animal dealer and co-op over there. Another dairy farm that way. Down there was the uh, cell point. And then we came back through this road. I had a look at that farm. Down the back corner there. And then we are there at the main farm now. So you can oh. see, just probably get a good idea on some of these fields. These fields over the side are part of the main farm. So. Right. Let me just pull up on my screen. There we go. So one of the things that was missing at the moment, MRG's not had the chance to look at it yet. Let me just jump out to the game for a second. If I go to um, here, you'll see we've got um, interim maze uh, icons there. The seeds are all the same at the moment. Uh, crack corn and dry corn are uh, holding icons. So I spent yesterday, instead of instead of doing vids, which is seems to be a theme at the moment, um, <laughs> um, we've done... We've done new icons, so dry corn, crack corn, three different seed types um, and three different uh, varieties of corn. And then that's your inoculant, liquid or dry inoculant and molasses as well. So um, that was quite good fun. I enjoyed uh, 
quite enjoyed an afternoon playing with those, so that was good. And uh, yeah, should see those in the map, hopefully. That should be good. Good to have some variety, isn't it? Indeed. Indeed it is. So there you go, that is that is the map. In essence, isn't it? That is everything that we've discovered so far. Like I say, it's still uh, a little bit away from being finished, but uh, it gives you a, it gives you a feel for it, doesn't it? And uh, mm. some the, some of the gameplay features are really nice. Um, like I said, like properly, the first time I think we've seen things like different seed varieties that will have different yields and things like that. It's uh, it's great. It's great to see that sort of yeah. uh, but it's stuff being added. Yeah, but like everything, it's all optional. You don't have to use the different seeds. Just plant yeah. corn if you want. Exactly. You don't have to use cracked corn or molasses to make TMR. It's still there. So not MRG's not changed the game to make it a, you know, you have to play this certain way. But it's uh, just adding. And I think this is something you talked about in your community. Um, Spotlight was, you know, added levels and layers of realism. Yeah, realism, and complexity. Way adding that. Yeah, reality. It's good. It's good. No, it's really nice. Reality um, as I float around in the air yeah. above. Me. <laughs> Let me just head over here. Um, Pop Pop wanted to see the um, the pig sheds, so let's let's buy some pigs, shall we? Just so you can see a few in situ. Go. I can hear them. I can hear them. There we go. There we go. They don't sound very happy. Seem happy enough. You right there, mate? <laughs> nice. Feed pens inside so you will... Where's the... Where's the load trigger? Probably over by the... Uh, the feed silos. silos yeah. The, down the end here. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So you feed... Put your feed in there. And it's all piped in, piped into the shed, which is nice as well. Mm. Mm. So there you go. Memoji, before he goes, says, make sure, you get sure you're all giving a huge thank you to Legacy, to Thundar and Louisiana. Project would be nowhere without them. Like I said at the start, really nice to see modders teaming up and working together. Really, you know, we, we all benefit from that as a community when you see stuff like this. Coming together, it's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Team, team manager Susie thinks my stream ended, um, but I think my internet's having a hissy fit still. Oh dear. Hmm. Hmm. Hasn't been good today. I thought I'd ironed out all my issues I was having a month or so ago, but they seem to have come back. Oh, Nitro Dad's in the house too. Mappers praising mappers, love it. Yeah. Did you want to spend a little bit of time doing something? Or? Yeah, it's your, that's uh, good, eh? And that's what's great about yeah. the community. They all work together. It is. How do you fancy? How do you fancy doing a little? Is this ready to go? And it's still growing. I'll grab a little bit of uh, corn silage. That's right. We can chuck it into one of these bunkers. We can fire some. Yeah. Yeah. Why Shall not? we? Oh, DJ Modding's in the house as well. Great job, MRG. Map looking amazing, bud. Great yeah. job, Legacy. Louisiana, yeah. Thunder. Nice, indeed. Right. Okay, let's go shopping. Do you want to grab a forage harvester and I'll grab a, a tractor and a trailer? Yeah. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good. I am I'm going through a bit of a fent phase That's at the moment. Can I say that? Loving fent tractors oh, yeah? for some reason. I don't don't did, did you, don't ask me why. Did you see did you see the pretty pretty new um what's wrong with it? Yes it has been. Right. Let me get uh I like the one that uh who was it? Trevor Bales has just bought it. Started going down the fent route with his equipment. It is nice. Mm, nice. That looks yeah, good. Like that. Yeah, sorry anyone who's trying to watch my stream. It's just my internet's just not friendly. Hit refresh if you're still there. 
Otherwise, otherwise, go and watch FSGs and listen to me. DJ, great maps are coming. I have to say a big thank you to Nitro Dad actually, who sent me a copy of his map last night as well. So that is a uh, that's another one on the cards <clears> in the next uh, in the next few days, I think. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna have a good look at that tomorrow and uh, do a little bit of a map tour of that one. You appear to be parked behind the trees, Arx. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, I know. I'm. I'm all over the place. This is either going to go really well or really bad. And I'm going to have to spend some time, or else No Man's Land is going to be nigh on impossible to record on. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to go and check that cable in the uh, under the ground again, mate. Yeah. Get the. Hmm. I haven't got an underground one, I've got an overground one. Oh, have you? Yeah. I've got one I run out to my shed when I need to, but it's um, been inadvertently run over, so I'm worried it might have been damaged. Oh, got a little bit of damage to it. Hmm. Probably lost my bearings there. Right, here we are. Uh, who was asking? Landon asked about Discord. Exclamation mark Discord, mate. You'll find a link to that. See what happens when you get your kids off technology. <laughs> right. Let's. They're we'll probably just... they're probably uh, doing something to quiet me. Just you kicked them off YouTube. They're not <laughs> happy. Well, it's just sick. Yeah, I'll be back in a sec, King. No worries. Right, let's. Ark here. Let's head back and see if Ark is. Is he? If he's in the. Oh, he's in it. I can't take over from him then. I'm gonna run it back. So yeah, some exciting stuff coming, definitely. Um, precision farming with anhydrous added. I know there's a couple of different versions of that coming uh, in the net, in the not too distant. Uh, I think Loki is working on a version with fusion simulations, um, which is a, a completely different approach to what um, Scooter and uh, and Colin's custom are doing. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see the differences in the two, but. Uh, Looking forward to seeing what those guys are working on. Hmm. Right. Don't know which field you want. I, I might have fixed it because uh, even though I said don't go on new TV, he's like, okay, I'll turn it off. I'm going to go on Disney Plus instead. <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> Lydon, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Paul yeah. Wright, hello, hello. Not to an eight year old. True. Well, we must yeah. have cropped him. It's a different internet, that. Tuned on. It's nice to see all the... Uh, I see all the positive comments. Different about internet, yeah. Really nice. Uh, Lee Dickerson, is this testing the map? Yeah, we have been kind of... In essence, we've been having it a little is, bit of a yeah, tour around a bit, but we're finding bits and pieces as we're, as we're going, and we'll feed them all back to MRG. Um... There is, a, there is a few bits that just need uh, tidying up and a few things that need fixing, but in general, it's yeah. it's close to being finished, I would say. I, <laughs> I, I hope you're in no hurry to harvest this maze. Why? Where are you? Because it's taken me a while to get there. <laughs> <laughs> I see you going cross-country again. Yeah. I've got a leg-free sp leg spot. Uh. Luke Wright, I did have a little look at Belarus tractors, yes. Yes, interesting. <clears throat> right. I'm still waiting for we're still waiting for Argosy to come around the corner. Uh. 
Can we, uh... Oh, my goodness. Are we going to be over-optimistic here? About being able to harvest... I think we might, I think we might be... Being, stuck. I think we might be being... He's stuck a on a sign. I don't know. No, he's you stuck on go. a stop sign. No. Just my ends in it. I probably won't even be able to enable GPS to be able to keep on driving it. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I'll drive it and point it in the right oh, direction. Goodness. There you go. Just do everything for me and I'll just. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you're I must definitely say still optimistic to think like I don't think this is gonna work. You're definitely better in the uh, harvest than the yard drive the traction trailer, I think. You oh, now I'm now I'm lagging. There we go, I'm back. Right. See. See, uh, vehicle sync, speed sync control is out this week as well. I did see that, yeah. About seven miles an hour here. And there we go. In a straight line now. Uh... So I wrote a couple of other things down we could talk about. What do you think about the DLCs? Um, Obviously the, the free one, the August, that came out of no Yeah, that field. was that's nice to see. Nice field. to see a bit more variety. That's <laughs> nice, I like it. Yeah. Uh, no, I was, I was nice to see. I uh, thought that was uh, a nice little addition. Um, if hmm. it is Kubota or the new tractors, underwhelmed, I have to say. Um, it's, not a it's not a tractor brand I'm particularly excited about. I must after two deals if that's the case no I think I think if you'd bought the season pass you'd probably be disappointed yeah I think right I mean great more more equipment great but um yeah well, yeah just not my cup of tea I don't think hmm hmm but there does seem to Which be a lot a shame, of interest in it like, there's a lot yeah, of people seem to on it right it does which is like you say it is a weird weird one like yeah I don't know what captures people's imagination with Kubota. Is it because it's such a small tractor and lots of people own their own one? Possibly. As a, as a yard tractor? Or a yeah. I mean, that's, for me, in the UK, it's a, it's a, something you'd find, you know, the greenkeeper on a golf course using. It's not, it doesn't, a, mm. for me, it's not mm. deemed yeah, as or, um, kind of agricultural machinery. Yeah. 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 It's interesting because, like I would have said, in nineteen they probably, you know, the Borgo pack, the John Deere cotton pack, they had some really good big equipment, which yeah. I think resonated more people. The class, you know, the class pack, that expansion. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that was nice, wasn't it? All right. Now actually has got to try and turn around without making a mess. This must look hilarious on your end. After watch your it's, watch uh, your um, <laughs> vod back. Yes, I think um, I know it's like early in the morning for you, but uh, I'm just pretty sure you've been drinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm still half asleep. Interesting. The pipe's not found. The the. I definitely think that's something. In 22, the pipes on the uh, forage harvesters are uh, not as accurate as they used to be. Yeah. So there you go. Next segment saying used a lot in Minnesota in the northern part. And Connor saying Kubota go up to 200 horsepower. Interesting. So different, different market. Obviously, that side of the world. Yeah. 
Mark English. This will drive you mad, that's right. Mad at the poor content. There you go. Josh Maggot, how are you doing, mate? Thanks for dropping in. Member for eight months. Congratulations. Nice work. Nice work. There's been a, I think, uh, are we getting to the point of maps where there's more and more coming out? It's been, you know, a lot of maps on Mod Hub this week. There has. There has, hasn't it? Farmer, Farmer Cop say something about there being 20 maps in testing. Jeez, oh. At one stage. That's good because yeah. I think that's been, it's been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a, uh, a lull, hasn't it? I mean, we've talked about it before, but just the lack of options, I think, for playing maps has been a bit frustrating. But yeah, I think with this coming out, Nitro Dad's maps coming out, DJ just came out with Green mm. Valley. Um, plus, you DR know, this modding coming back out of the blue. That's right. Yeah, DR modding's maps. Um, oh, it's already out. That isn't it? Actually, yeah, um, it's Mary. Uh Farmville. North Carolina, wasn't it? Yeah. Farmville, that's right. Um, and we have another map that we've been shared by a currently unnamed source. Hmm. Which is yes. quite exciting. Yep. Look forward to sharing it a is. bit more about that in the coming week. Look at that. Kick the kids off the internet and things come right. Super smooth. It is. Even the even YouTube's caught up with everything. It's all green. So everyone who went to FSG's stream and come back tomorrow. Come now. back. <laughs> Everybody go on Ray Dargs' stream. Back. Come back. <laughs> please, please come back. Back. No, not at all. There you go. Yo. Hello Jan, how are you doing? Yeah, of course, um, because DJ's just released version 2 of uh, Green Valley as well, hasn't he? Custom soil maps and things. That's right, yeah, he's done a, done a few updates and tweaks, which is great. Hmm. Bomada oh, is watching you, both, Scott's as still you should. Both streams. Thank you, Scott. Not spoke too soon. I know. I was going to say you're drifting now. You're drifting. Assume you didn't put GPS on then. No, I was worried it was going to snap to a straight line rather than. Oh, <laughs> that's right. We'll get there. We'll get there. Let's just do one trailer load to prove it can Honestly, be done. Honestly, it's going to make for an entertaining no man's land. <laughs> it's going to make. It's going to make an entertaining no man's land. You're going to spend the whole day. Sorting that cable, aren't you? Yeah. I should need to buy. I was going to look at getting a like a one of those high-powered wireless point-to-point. -point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And see if that helped. Nick Earl, nice to see you, mate. I'm also seeing how wiggly I can go down the edge of the field. Oh yeah. This is. Mm. This is. Oh, there we go. That's that's. That's chopped it. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't been drinking? Whiskey for breakfast? I wish I could say I have, but no. <laughs> That'd be a great excuse. Isn't it funny, because I went for the smaller header, I've only got a six and a half metre header, how long it's taken to fill the trailer. I know, I was going to say that, it's like a really big difference, isn't it? A Swiss Mizzy's just come in and said, mm. hello gentlemen, has somebody been drinking? You would think, wouldn't you? <laughs> Ninety one percent I'm on so if his G's reactions are a bit slow. <laughs> You're testing me and I'm failing. Yeah yeah. yeah. From where I'm sitting, it doesn't. Uh, it, it doesn't look great. <laughs> oh, I'm just <laughs> going to do a circle now, eh? Oh, hey boy! I don't <laughs> know what I'm full, doing. It's a full 360. <laughs> there you go, guys. 
we take it for granted, but when it stops working, we sure know about it. First world problems, though, eh? I know, right? Here we go. My hands are off the wheel. I'm going in a straight line. We should get that last 10% in. Yeah. 94%. Here we go. Six to go. Oh, don't run over the crop. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Just tidying up your mess. Remember, I have to do what that. What are you doing? Most, most, uh... <laughs> most, <laughs> most times we play together. Quentos saying, so many maps and mod choices, it's so hard to actually play the game. <laughs> that mm. is true. That is true. Um, have you had a play with, have you had a play with Unit Convert yet? I have not, no. I watched the Kadirk stream the other day and that was it. Oh, oh Kadirk's fit. Mm. Right, I'm out. Another one, it's good to see while we're talking about things. That yes, are yes, now. Unit Convert light is back. Great to have that variety. And options. Right, let's dump this out on the back, like uh, like we talked about before, because I think that's quite a nice, nice yeah. little feature. Not we'll put it in the third bunk. We'll put it in the middle one, shall we? Time warping, just doing the time warp all over the place. I'm still. The best part is when I've stood still for five seconds and then I just warp somewhere just else. Appear somewhere else. Yeah. Right, there we go. Look at that. Nicely Loving that. Done. Nicely so you done. You can actually really brim your uh, bunkers from the from the back to the front. Yeah. That's great. Loving that. Evening, Ed. How are you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Follow me's out as well. That was the other one that came out this week, wasn't it? That's another okay. one. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. of the good mods are here. I don't think we need anything else now. From a gameplay yeah, perspective. Game, yeah. So there we Bigger go. Bigger internet would be nice. <laughs> right. Where are you, Arx, now? I'm just side of your trick. Milling around, having a nosy. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Just, <laughs> yeah, no, here I am. Somewhere on the map. Turn around. Hey, Famrid. Yeah. There we go. Right. Yeah. I think we'll save you the the uh, the misery of having to do another load. <clears throat> Probably. Misery, I mean, what we've been doing. We're going for an hour and a half anyway, so that's longer than we expected to. Uh, yeah, no, we're good. I'm good. So. Um. Yeah, yeah, and it'll give me more time to fix my internet before tomorrow. <laughs> Yes. If he's just going to wake up in the morning with a message from me with just a crying emoji. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll go back to There bed. was a few maps that had this. Yeah. There was another one too. Um, can't remember. Anyhow. That's not new, but it is nice. It is a nice setup. Yeah. There we go. Thank right. you. FSG. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Args. That was uh, mm. that was fun. Great map. That was good fun. <laughs> it so is. So much potential. To it. So you, you, you're going to have a proper map video on it? I think I will do a little bit of a proper map tour on it, yes. Um, Good. I wonder if I might wait a couple of... See if we'll get an updated one with all the, all the stuff that, get, <laughs> that we fed back to him tonight. Mm. Um, yeah, so yeah, We'll, we'll chat to him after the stream and see what he thinks. Um, mm. So there we go. I'm going to find something to fill my Sunday night. Now where there's no Wyoming net this week, so... I have to... Uh, you can go really can rewatch the series. True, yeah. Could put all ten episodes have you, back to and back. It's a good question for you before you go. Have you actually sat down and watched them? No. I watch them no. before they go up to make sure that I've not yeah. put any clangs in there. But I haven't actually watched right. them as with with the with the pressure off. No. So maybe I yeah. should. Yeah. Has Mrs. FSG watched them? Mrs. FSG has not watched them, no. Has she not? No. Rocky didn't didn't buy into the farm flicks. She didn't. She, she, she liked farm flicks. She saw that. And put that on TV. I know. Yeah. She watches enough trash on Netflix. She'd probably love it. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, actually going to put. Yeah, um, 
that I've I've seen a few of the guys doing it. Kind of Clutch does it every now and again. Is put this um, this looping stream on. So I'm thinking I might put that playlist on Wyoming on a on a loop for yeah, cool. a, a day or so, and just it'll just run yeah. over and over. Yeah. So, there we go. Nice. But uh, this was Very fun. Good. Enjoyed this, mate. Was. Yeah. yeah. That pleasure as always. And I'll catch you later on. In no man's land. And yes, indeed. Catch everyone in chat next time. But yeah. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stay safe and appreciate you all hanging out. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekends. Take care. Mm, very good. And thanks everyone who hung out with my internet too. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, poor. Including Ross. you, FSG. Including <laughs> you. <laughs> you did well, mate. You did well. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care. All right. Later. Take care, folks. See ya. See ya.